Welcome back to the National Science and Engineering Competition. My name's Ellie Taylor and the organisers asked me to come here and find out what it's like to be a finalist here at the Big Bang Fair in Birmingham. What they definitely didn't do was to ask me to be a judge and I definitely didn't think that at any point at all. Anyway, yesterday I met loads of young scientists and engineers but today it's the double whammy. It's the final round of judging and the National Awards Ceremony. Anyway, you might be wondering what kind of projects made it through to the finals. So we spoke to some of the finalists to find out more. So I was looking at two species of copepods, one of which is a parasite of Atlantic salmon. We would feed the salmon their food with the drug infused into it and see if that had an effect as well. My project's an attachment for a tractor or a telehandler, much the same as the hose really you have for your garden hose, only it's on a far larger scale in hydraulic. My project is a, a Delta style 3D printer. So the printing is almost an accessory to the machine, you know, I just want to get it sort of as, as good as I can. Basically we were trying to test a protein that they found in America called pH low insertion peptide or FLIP. I spent my summer of 2013 researching the physics of graphene to create a loudspeaker and I also potentially have whole walls covered in graphene invisibly producing sounds. So it's a sort of invisible sound system. I have built a retro arcade vending machine which is um, aimed at GCC level students to help them revise their STEM software objects and the motivation is to increase STEM awareness and um, show them what's possible with DT and get them better grades. Two of those finalists will go on to win Young Engineer and Young Scientist of the Year and the people who won those accolades last year happen to be sitting next to me. It is Fred and Emily. So tell me how your lives have changed since you won the award last year. It's been amazing. It's been, yeah, it's been an amazing year. Travelling all over Europe, I got to go to CERN to see the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, in Geneva. We've been to Stockholm to see the Nobel Prize award ceremonies and then Prague for the European competition. And what would your advice be to people who want to win the award, maybe aren't sure about it? What would you say? Just go, go for, it. for it. Yeah, yeah. Like the, you've got nothing to lose by entering and exactly. it's a fantastic experience to be involved yeah. with. Once everyone's been judged, it's time for the award ceremony. And if you've ever seen an award ceremony, you will know that the only place to be seen is the red carpet. I wasn't expecting it at all. We came into the competition not wanting to be here. Now, yeah, we wanted to have fun and now we're, yeah, we were not expecting it at all. I was very surprised. There were so many good projects. I didn't expect me to win, but um, this whole year and a half has been working up to this. If you fancy being part of the Big Bang Fair next year, and maybe even up on stage like this year's winners, then check on the NSEP website and it have all the details there. And if you fancy learning a little bit more about this year's finalists, then check back here in a few days and we'll be following two of this year's winners.